All right, let's bring in right now uh, former Defense Secretary and CIA Director Leon Panetta. Uh, it is so great to have you with us, uh, Mr. Secretary. I'm sure you heard Steve Ratner's review of uh, our military might versus Russia's and the rest of the world. I, I, I'm just curious how you assess uh, the threat from Russia. Well, I think the, the main threat from Russia is... Uh, that we're in a new chapter of the Cold War and uh, that uh, Putin, at least for the last few years, has read weakness on the part of the United States and as a result has taken advantage of that uh, by going into the Ukraine, going into Syria, going mm -hmm. to Libya uh, and interfering with our uh, election institutions here. So the real problem is that Russia has been very aggressive uh, in this period of time, and the United States really has not stood up to Russia during that period as well. And I think uh, that is the difference, obviously, with uh, with this meeting between Putin and uh, Joe Biden today. Secretary Panetta, it's Willie Geis. You've been clear that the emphasis on this meeting, or one of the principal emphasis, should be on the cyber attacks that have come out of Russia. You said that President uh, Biden needs to make it clear to Putin, you will pay a price, period. What is that price, in your view? Well, I think uh, these cyber attacks, these ransomware attacks that have in particular gone after our infrastructure, uh, the pipeline, the uh, need distribution systems, uh, really impacts on our national security. Uh, and uh, the point that uh, Joe Biden has to make is that the United States is not going to tolerate uh, Russia, or for that matter, anybody else, attacking our infrastructure in this country. Uh, and uh, that this has to stop. And if it doesn't, uh, that uh, they will pay a price. Uh, what that price is, I mean, obviously, uh, rests with the uh, what kind of offensive capabilities we have in our cyber arena. But I do think it's very important to make clear to the Russians that what they have been doing in terms of cyber attacks on our country is not tolerable, will not be accepted, and will we will respond yeah. if they continue. And what do you do with an adversary like Vladimir Putin? We've been talking about this this morning, who doesn't seem to care when he hears rhetoric about paying a price. He says, OK, you're going to slap more sanctions on me. I can live with that. How do you make clear to him that the price is new, that the price is different and that it will actually cost him this time? Well, that's the main point. Uh, for too long, uh, the United States has not uh, stood up to Putin and made clear where the red lines are and what lines uh, should not be crossed in the relationship between the United States and Russia. Uh, if Joe Biden is successful uh, in making clear where those red lines are, then I think there's an opportunity to try to see if there aren't areas where both Russia and the United States can work together. Um, but it has to be from a position of strength. Look, the only way you can deal with Putin is from a position of strength. If you don't make clear that uh, there are areas that we are not going to tolerate in the future in terms of our relationship and that we will respond if necessary, uh, then you're operating from a position of weakness. I don't think that's what Joe Biden's doing. I think he walks into this meeting uh, at a time when obviously the United States economy is doing well, we're, we're dealing with COVID, but more importantly, he has reaffirmed all of our alliances, the G7, NATO, uh, and strengthened uh, our, our alliances in, in Europe, which is probably, probably the most important thing the United States could do in terms of saying to Russia, look, this is not just the United States. Uh, this is the United States plus our strongest allies. Uh, saying to Russia, do not continue to try to undermine the stability of the United States or, for that matter, Europe.